One of the most common questions that I get whenever I'm doing a consult or doing the strategy session with one of the agents that I sponsor at eXp is, should I be doing Facebook ads, YouTube ads, or Google ads? Which one's going to work for my business? Well, the answer that I always give is, well, they're all going to work for your business, but it just depends what your budget is, what your goals are, and which platform you plan to really invest in to make it work for your business. Because what's really challenging with answering that question is that everybody's business is different. However, with this very video, I attempt to address that for you, and I give you my opinion on which platform I think is best overall. Hey, it's Jaime. If you're just meeting, welcome to the channel that brings actionable content to grow your business through online marketing. So if that sounds beneficial, consider subscribing. Okay, so I understand that if you're watching this video, chances are you know what a Facebook ad is, what a Google ad is, and what a YouTube ad is, but we're gonna start off with definitions for the first couple of seconds. A Facebook ad is either an image ad or a video ad that you launch on Facebook ads and also on Instagram because that's the same platform along with some other partner networks that Facebook is partnered with. And with Google ads, you have the opportunity of showing up first in the search results whenever you advertise with Google Ads and also in some display ads across millions of other websites. And with YouTube Ads, well, you probably already saw one of them at the beginning of this video. You have the opportunity of advertising on YouTube in video format. So of course those definitions are just the Cliff Notes versions. There's plenty of other details that go with those types of ads, but if you had no idea what each one of them was, well, now you do. All right, so let's break this into categories. Let's break this into certain goals that you as an advertiser would have. You as somebody that is spending your hard earned money with these platforms, you would like to know which platform is right for me. So in every single category, I'm gonna give you the platform that wins out. And the first category is flexibility in placements, meaning where will your ad actually show up? Where in the platform, whether that's Facebook ads, Google ads, or YouTube ads, will your ad actually show? And the winner here is Facebook ads. You have so many different places to place your advertisement. You can place your ads in stories and news feeds and messengers and marketplace and so on and so on. There's so many different placements that you can advertise within Facebook and by proxy in Instagram. And what I really like about the flexibility with placements is that Facebook continues to evolve and continues to open up different places where we can place our ads, whether that's a video or an image. So that's pretty cool. All right, so now let's talk about the elephant in the room and that's conversion. Which platform is gonna give you a better conversion? Is it gonna be Facebook, Google, or YouTube? Historically, it's gonna be Google. And the reason that Google wins out is because people go to Google to search. People go to Google to find answers and that's what Google provides. With Google, you have the ability to do intention-based marketing, meaning you are marketing whenever somebody has the intention to purchase or use your services. And over on Facebook, it's more disruptive type marketing. People aren't over on Facebook trying to get a service or a product for the most part. They're trying to connect. All right, so now let's talk about opportunity. Where are the ads gonna be cheaper in relation to the potential return that you can expect? YouTube ads is still incredibly underpriced when it comes to the opportunity that you have at your disposal. You have the ability to connect with your client or customer way faster than ever before and for a fraction of the price. And what I wanna stress here is that we're just talking about Google ads, YouTube ads, and Facebook ads. We're not talking about any medium outside of this digital marketing or these platforms that I'm referencing. And the reason that I stress that is because these three platforms still outperform any radio spot, any television spot, any billboard that you can think of. All right, so now let's talk about quickest to launch. In other words, how quickly can you implement? The winner here is Facebook ads. You can create a personal account and a business account and advertise from there very, very quickly. When you're talking about trying to implement that versus Google ads and YouTube ads, those two other platforms take a little bit longer. And the reason that I selected Facebook ads over Google ads specifically is because now Facebook ads has the ability to do call only ads, meaning you can launch an ad that directly connects the client or customer with you over the phone. That's something that Google Ads was the only other platform that was able to do that. But now, as of a couple of weeks ago, Facebook gives you that capability. All right, so now let's talk about interface, which is the user-friendly interface. 
That's Facebook again. Facebook ads provides a fairly intuitive interface that will be easy for you to adapt to as opposed to Google and YouTube, which basically Google owns YouTube. So when you're advertising on YouTube, you're using the same interface as Google. All right, so now let's talk about targeting. Which platform will give you precision targeting? And here, the answer is Google. Google Ads will give you incredible precision whenever you're trying to market to whoever it is. Now, one caveat here, and this goes out to my real estate professional friends, understand that there are some restrictions both on Facebook and now on Google when it comes to advertising in real estate. So if you're in real estate, you can't be as specific with your targeting, neither on Facebook or on Google. And again, the Google is a recent change, which was a bummer to say the least. But overall, with Google Ads, you have the ability to reach a consumer regardless of their demographic and also regardless of their interest with incredible precision. All right, so now let's talk about cost per result, meaning a lead or a sale. And here, the cost when it comes to which one's gonna be more costly, you're gonna lean towards Google Ads over Facebook ads, which if you play the other side of the coin, that means that Facebook ads is the least expensive of all the three platforms. Now again, we're just talking about the result. We're not talking about conversion. I wanna make that clear because I'll give you an example. I can run a real estate ad on Facebook and get a lead for pennies, literal pennies. Now on Google, that's gonna take a few more pennies. All right, so now let's talk about reach. Which platform will magnify your reach exponentially beyond any possible measure? And that's Google. Google has millions of websites that it can magnify your reach to. So that's why Google wins out. Sure, Facebook has Instagram, which are both incredibly large websites. And of course, Facebook does have some other partner websites but at the end of the day, the Google network wins out. All right, so let's break this down. Which platform should you use at the end of the day? If you plan to get to the market incredibly fast, I would go with Facebook. Facebook gives you the opportunity to get to the market incredibly quickly without you having to invest a ton of time learning how to do it. But if you're open to learning and wanna get ahead of the curve, regardless of the industry that you're in, then I would go with YouTube. Well, now that you know the pros and cons of Google ads, YouTube ads, and Facebook ads, it's time to get back to work. So I'll leave a video right here that's gonna help you do that. Also, if you found value today, please be sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss another video. And of course, make your best day yet.